Hey there brothers and sisters, Timothy here once again with The Way of the Rope. In this video I'm going to give you three drills to maximise and upgrade the functional carryover of the Matador. Any more than your skeleton is bones infested. The first drill, similar to in the underhand, we're going to go with some balance once again. The Matador is slightly easier however to balance than on the underhand because you get two revolutions of the rope at each side which gives you a chance to stabilise and recenter yourself before you move over again. A few ways we can apply balance to Matador in varying difficulty is at first to start with just this leg lock variation, simple knees together, foot lock behind the other ankle. If you want to upgrade it a bit more, because the Matador allows us this extra revolution at each side as I stated earlier, it allows us a little more chance to remain balanced so that therefore we can push the balance a little bit harder. So a medium variation of balancing with the Matador would be to lift the leg 90 degrees, so knees together lifting that leg so it's parallel to the floor and back down again. And then the hard variation would be basically attempting to do a Romanian deadlift, a single leg Romanian deadlift with that grounded leg staying as straight as possible. And this other leg, trying to get it through a full 180 degrees, if you can, if you've got the mobility and the balance to do it, then that's what we're aiming for. But if you get, you know, 100 degrees, 120 degrees, that's fine. Just trying to get the maximum extension at the back and lift up to parallel to the floor at the front. Next up, once again, we're adding the lunge to the matador. Now there's several variations you can do with this. Simple lunge back, and then as you step forward, drive the knee up and through, kind of like a Muay Thai kick. Gets us really driving strong on that leg. That extra revolution, as I said, gives us time to set up so we can really commit and come through with the upper leg, driving off the rear glute. And another variation of this is what I call the lunge attack, where we're kind of winding up like a spring, coiling up and then exploding forward, the arms drive with the legs. That's what I really like about what the art, what the rope has the ability to do, especially when timed with the lunge. It teaches us how the arms and the legs can work together with this coiling core, this spinal engine. And so on this lunge attack, we get to coil back and we wind the rope in. And then as we strike an attack, the arms drive forward and we pounce off that leg on this 45 degree angle to matador out, matador back in, and we can change it to the other side. So there's many variations you can do with this lunge attack, which side, you can go side to side, forward, backwards, but that 45 degrees where you're gonna get the maximum trajectory off your feet, off that cord spring. Now the third drill I've got for you to upgrade your matador is to practice what I call stacking. And that's where we go from the weight being centered and balanced on one leg to being balanced on the other leg, completely with the weight head as over the foot will remain balanced and the matador allows us to practice to move fluidly from one balanced position to another on this this figure of eight as we transition and transfer the weight across now there's the gentle way to do it where we rock side to side or you can level this up with a real kind of hopping side to side but what i really want from this pattern is that one leg has got all the weight in it and the other leg is just like your squirrel's tail it's out there for balance but it's not taking any weight and this is effectively how we can learn to run or to do sport is we're moving from, if we can always be as balanced as possible while we're moving, we're in control of any direction we want to go. And the way a cat moves, it can crawl along, it's always in balance and then it can change direction if it has to. If we're running just shoulders, chest down the middle, we've got no ability to be agile really from that position without having to slow down, stop and move again. If we can go from one stack position to another stack position, it allows us this versatility and agility to move on from that position we're in, using like this lunge attack mechanics of using the upper body to drive from that balanced stacked position, if that makes sense. I know that's kind of complicated, but if you, if you looked at this for some while, it does start to make sense. And once you feel the patterns, you feel the positions you find, it starts to make a lot more sense. Like a, a figure skater on the start line or a shot putter, all the weights on that one leg, these are athletic positions that are functional for humans. And then we drive down and go. And this matador stack allows us to practice finding that position to move on from. And that's all from me for this edition of Way of the Rope. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you've got something you can take away next time you take the rope out for a roll 
some ideas you can practice with that matador. It's a fairly easy pattern, but I hope to give you some ideas that you can upgrade, like I say, level up that matador. If you want to learn more patterns, if you want to learn how to matador, you're not sure how to do it yourself, or you want ropes, deeper courses, we've got coaches courses as well now, check out wayoftherope.co.uk. Follow us on Instagram if you're not already at Way of the Rope. If you like the content, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Godspeed.